hello and welcome back to my channel my name is Emily and I talk books and stuff so it has been a while since I made a video and that is essentially because I started working a full-time job and it's been hectic trying to balance that and reading it um, definitely was the inspiration of today's video because getting that first paycheck was something else and i have a multitude of books to haul and there are still so many on the way so <laughs> we're going to be doing that today i think i have around 30 ish books to haul um i did buy bulk authors i challenged my friends on discord to be like you know give me a genre give me a series give me an author and they did and I spent unnecessary amounts of money on these authors who I have not read before. So the first author that I have is a very well known author and that is V.E. Schwab or Victoria Schwab and I have all of her books except for The Archived and I owned Vicious and Vengeful and The Darker Shade of Mag Magic Trilogy and now I, now I own so oh. I have the hardcover edition of The Neo Witch, which I have no idea what it's about. I literally zero I don't know what it's about, but we own it. And then of course everybody's new favourite. The Invisible Life of Addie LaRue, which I'm very excited to read. It's definitely not the sort of book that I would usually pick up, but seeing people cry over it has um, raised my interests on quite a bit because you guys know I love to cry. And then I got the City of Ghosts trilogy. I think that's the order that they go in. City of Ghosts, Tunnel of Bones, and then Bridge of Souls. These are a lot shorter than I expected. The writing is super big, so I reckon I could smash through these in a readathon and I'm really looking forward to it. I think I'm gonna binge them and see how we go with those. And then the next one, of course, is this Savage Song Dark Duet duology, which is this Savage Song, our dark duet. And I think out of all of V.E. Schwab's works, this is the one that I'm most excited for. It just sounds amazing, so good. And I've just oh. <laughs> the tagline is literally there is no such thing as safe. But and next up we have the Mime Order by Samantha Shannon, which is the sequel to the Bone Season. And I'm so pumped for this because I I liked the first book a lot more than I expected. Um, I had originally read the first one, DNF'd it, and didn't pick it up for another three years. For I read it again with Val and we frothed it, so keen to get onto this one. And then the next book that I got is just a random book. I saw the cover, I saw the title, I was like, yeah, why not? It was like 20 bucks. So I went ahead and bought it and that is The Wood by Chelsea Bobolsky. And I don't know what this is about whatsoever. The tagline on the front says, Do not travel from the past. Do not linger after dark. Do not ignore the calling. And the next book I bought is Fool's Errand by Robin Hobb. This is part of, I think, the third, if not the final series part of this universe. I have currently only read the first three books and they were amazing. Amazing. So I am super excited to jump back into this world and see how we go with that. And then I bought another copy of Six of Crows. But I, I bought the A Touch of Magic designs. What are they called again? Dust jackets. And I bought it, I bought Six of Crows purely so that I could put the dust jacket on it.
the next author that I binge bought a bunch of books for, I always have trouble pronouncing. So Haruki Murakami, I don't know. But I started off with South of the Border, West of the Sun. I have no idea what this is about, but I'm very excited. It's the same for pretty much all of his books. I don't know what they're about, but I bought a lot of them. So then I bought Norwegian Wood. After the Quake. Kafka on the Shore. Underground. Men Without Women. What I talk about, what I talk about running. After Dark. And Sputnik Sweetheart. So I bought a lot of his books and most of them are pretty thin so hopefully I can smash out quite a few this year. And the next two books I bought of course are Erotica because it's me and that's what we read around here, that's specifically what that shelf there is filled with. So the first up is one of my all-time favourite novellas. Um, it's honestly the best. It is out there. It is very far out there. But that is The Dare by Harley LaRoe. It is teeny tiny and I'm gonna get a book stand to display it because it is so good. So good. This is smart, absolutely divine. I am so ready for the full length novel Losers. It'll be interesting to see when that comes out. If we have to get a release date but love this book so much. so much and then the next book I got is This Day by Blanka Lipinska which is the sequel of 365 days if you don't know what that is you know the whole are you lost baby girl that's what I'm talking about I read the first book and I actually really enjoyed it <laughs> and I hate myself for saying that but I am just oh, so ready so ready especially with the way it ended it was just so abrupt in the way it finished that i was like pre-order <laughs> so there's that the next two books i bought are a duology i think it's staying a duology i'm pretty sure i don't know if there's going to be a third book that is The Inheritant Games and The Hawthorne Legacy Duology by Jennifer Lynn Barnes. I don't know what this is about. I think they're just fighting for... She came from nothing. They have everything. Let the games begin. I don't know. It sounds cool. Though Danny didn't like it as much as I was expecting her to. So that makes me sort of worried because... Generally, Danny and I have exactly the same taste, so we'll see how we go with these two. Hopefully I don't regret buying them. But yeah, the next few books I picked up from the op shop, and then the last books are all manga, so I'll take you through them after. But the first book I got from the op shop is Someone Came Knocking, and this is by Anne Hilton Bruce. Um, this is all about people who thought they could get away from their lives when someone comes knocking. So it sounds pretty chill, pretty... We'll see how it goes. It doesn't sound like it's going to be an amazing book, but I am here for the thrillers, I am here for the mysteries, and I'm just gearing up for it. The next book I got is Girls on Fire by Robin Waseman. I don't know what this is about either. <laughs> when I'm in an op shop, I generally just pick up books and buy them. But um, this is all about high school. So from what I believe, Girls on Fire is about adolescent girls going through high school. And one of them used to be a loser, but is picked up by another girl and she transforms her and they both become popular. Until something deeply disturbing comes to light. Someone has a secret. Everyone always has secrets. Can't trust a damn person in this world. And yeah, things kind of go downhill from there. So I'm excited to have a little 
look see and again love a good thriller love a good mystery and then because danny and i have a weird thing with binging authors i started building my collection for patricia cornwell don't you love that it's like it's written so many freaking books first up we have blowfly i have no idea what this is about only that she has like some sort of series going on um but that should be interesting all of patricia cornwell books that i own that are in these like giant hard covers which i really really like um and yeah it was literally four dollars i was like see you later then the next one I got is the Scarpetta, the Scarpetta Factor. Again, no idea what this is about. <laughs> Love that. So those are my Patricia Cornwell books. And then I have two other books. And then my manga books. Lovely. The next book I bought is The Last Kingdom by Bernard Cornwell. And um, this is supposed to be a historical historically accurate vikings cross game of thrones vibes fantasy and i'm just i'm here for it i'm super excited i bought this baby for 10 bucks was living my best life and i'm ready for it and then the next book i bought is a non-fiction dinosaur book because if anyone really knows me they know that i am obsessed with dinosaurs and that is dinosaurs new visions of a lost world i finished this last night and absolutely adored it it is all about what dinosaurs actually looked like, how they discovered dinosaurs had feathers, how they found out, you know, the scientific methods behind what colours they were, and I just... <sighs> it was beautiful. I had a lot of fun reading this. It was good. Okay, we're on home stretch now, guys. I just have a bunch of manga to show you, and then we'll wrap this haul up. But I went a little overboard with my gay manga and my horror manga i asked my friend for a limit she said 10 books i bought 18 and um yeah so now i'm paying for it so the first one i bought is black and white i have not yet taken it out of its wrapper but if you know anything about the wrapping then that says a lot about me as a person but i'm super excited to read this i it, it's about a villain and his secret lover like it's, that's all you need to know <clears throat> the next book I got is A Perfect World which is about a woman who falls in love with a guy who is wheelchair bound and then I got the third installment of Goodnight Pun Pun and this is basically a very depressing and dark coming of age story it's you know it's something it's one of my best friends favorite mangas ever so of course naturally i have to read the entire thing and so far i'm loving it i've read the first two volumes and they were super good and i'm ready to feel the pain ready to feel the pain this i have three stacks going on here guys this is ridiculous and then I bought Seven Days, Monday through Sunday. And this is all about a guy who only dates people for a week. He starts dating them Monday, dumps them the following Sunday, and then he catches the eye of another guy that rhymed. <laughs> and it's all about them falling in love. The next book I got is An Incurable Case of Love. And this is all about this chick who saw a doctor save someone's life. And so... She spent five years training to become a nurse to get close to him. I just, I, I love stuff like this. Like, you're a little stalker, but I bet you he loves her anyway. Oh, so good. And then I got a Silent Voice Volume 1. I have no idea what this is about. Aww. It's about a guy who bullies a girl for being deaf and then she leaves school and then they meet up again six years later. Oh, enemies to lovers. I'm 
so excited. And then coming from the guy who wrote One Punch Man is Mob Psycho 100. This is volume one and I read it and I did not like it that much. So I don't know if I will be continuing on with the series, but yeah, it's another one I bought. More gay stuff, let's go. Case Haven, volume three. <laughs> oh, she's spicy. This has to be in like my top two. Because we're not there yet, are we? I was pretty... Nah. It's probably the spiciest manga I have read today. Um, whether that said something or not, I'm not 100% sure. It's quite popular. The other one being Coyote, which is oh, so good. I love that one so much. But yeah, I then have volumes 2 and 3 of 10 Count, which is all about a guy trying to beat his OCD... ...ness? Disorder, OCD disorder, but then that's obsessive compulsive disorder disorder. He's just trying to overcome his OCD. And the therapist that he meets in volume one is the shit. It, oh, just, I can't deal with it whatsoever. I can't. I just, and then I got volume five of Tokyo Ghoul, which is all about a guy who becomes part ghoul and him trying to live through that the art is amazing i love it the next volume that i bought was happiness and this is all about this person who wakes up one day and finds out that they are in fact a vampire it's supposed to be super dark i've flicked through the art and it looks pretty gory so i am super excited for this one i <sighs> I'm falling more in love with horror manga each and every time I read a volume of literally anything. It's so good. And then the next two volumes that I bought are Blood on the Tracks and this was recommended to me by a friend because she said it's super super duper messed up and it features you know themes like incest and murder and gore and I'm here for it like my favorite horror movies are the wrong turn series so let's go let's do it and the final book i have to show you is sensor by junji ito this is his latest book and i'm building up my junji ito collection quite nicely this is all about a woman who has stumbled upon a village a town of some sorts and no one knows where she's come from knowing junji ito it's gonna get messed up real quick i'm so ready for it i'm so ready and yeah, that's all I have to show you today. Um, more videos coming soon. I have quite a bit to catch you up on. And yeah, I'll see you all next time. Like, subscribe, comment, whatever. <laughs> Don't forget your joke on the way out. What do you get when you combine a rhetorical question and a joke? <laughs>